right? So I uh, start off with a morning drink of lemon, cayenne pepper, and some syrup, and it's super, uh, super good for your gut. So I like to start start off the day with that. So some people think it's gross, but I think it's actually pretty good. Cheers. So I usually do some Wim Hof breathing and what it does is just gets a ton of oxygen to your brain and you don't have to think about, you know, having a huge cup of coffee when you first wake up. It just uh, allows you just to wake up. So here it goes. gets a ton of oxygen to your brain, you feel awake. It feels great. <laughs> All right, so I uh, usually do the Wim Hof. First or second thing, and then I go in and I write down what I'm thankful for. And it's just a good way to put yourself in the right mindset of being thankful. Because I think a lot of people go through life and they forget all the blessings they have. And it's just important to write down what you're thankful for. And so that's what I do. So I try to be specific with what I write down. So, um, you know, I say what I'm thankful for. Usually it's just like my family to start off. Like I'm thankful for Megan and Megan's love. I'm thankful for Naya and the joy that she has. I'm thankful for Zaylee and the laugh that she has. And it's just little things that I think of that, you know, just being specific about what I'm actually thankful for about that person, so. Then, then I go in and write my goals. And I think this is one of the things that people all don't do. They do like once or twice a year. And it's really important to write down your goals every single day. And it's just like, if you're a car and you filled up your th with gas once or twice a year, you wouldn't go anywhere. So your goals need fuel. And uh, just like your body needs fuel, you need to eat every single day. So. It's just one of those things that it's a good reminder to write down your goals and I do it before I go to sleep as well, but um, just a good reminder in the morning, so. And these goals are, are pretty big. Um, I think a lot of people just write goals that are, are too small. So, uh, you know, these are, these are specific number goals, so. Uh, make you know 100 million in coaching. Make 300 million uh, in real estate. Have a new real estate portfolio, and then once I hit those, I'll, I'll set new goals. But those are it for right now. And then and then I go through and I I usually write down a verse that I'm trying to memorize or meditate on. And right now that verse is Proverbs 21:21. And it says the lovers of God who chase after his righteousness will have all their dreams come true. And then it says, um, and the, they'll have abundant life drenched in favor and a fountain that overflows with satisfaction. And so the other day I was kind of studying that and what does it mean to, to chase after God and his righteousness and chase means to like have a fire after, um, and then righteous means, righteousness means like uh, chase after his, his like chase after him, but chase after like the, the right things in him, not just chase after, you know, the things that you feel like you can just get from God. It's not a, it's not a genie, it's, it's uh, he's your heavenly father. And so anyways, chasing after that, um, it's, it's, it's an action step. It's not just a passive thing. All right. And then I usually uh, read a letter to myself, and it's just a good, good reminder of all the things that are important in life, and a reminder of my identity, and stuff like that. So, 
Uh, I'll go ahead and read it to you guys. It says, you are a winner. Father, this day is yours, and I surrender my life, my wife, family, dreams, and job over to you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Teach me how to live each day for your glory. Dear Kyle Kunkel, you are a winner, a man of God and after God's own heart. You dream bigger and go bigger than anyone else out there. God is for you. That means that nothing can be against you. Nothing. Today is going to be the best day of your life. <laughs> I love just being with God. You are a cleaner, someone who makes things happen. You're always staying positive and always having fun out there. You face it, fix it, and prepare to do better next time. When you can laugh at yourself and not take every setback seriously, that is confidence. Finding the gold nugget in every situation is what you're good at, Kyle. You take risks to taste the greatness. Pressure can bust pipes, but it can also make diamonds. Pressure is a challenge that will define you. It gives you opportunity to see how much you can, like, see how much you can have and see how much you can go. <laughs> um, work through the discomfort. You'll survive. Then go back for more and make you great. Find a way to keep the pressure turned up. Goal setting. Get on my level or get it out of the way. Holding up the number before and after I walk into the appointment like Jordan, Michael Jordan. Get back up and keep throwing punches. You won't quit until you're dead. Go get some. I'll be self-controlled, quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Uh, I will be disciplined in everyday activity. I'll be selfless and think of others before myself in every decision I make. Megan and the girls. Let the lion out and get that killer instinct. You're hungry for blood for that sale because that means I pay my bills to care of my wife and family and live out our dreams together and give to God's kingdom. And then I talk about the different places that I give to. It says success is a planned event, preparation of mind, skill, body, and spirit. Pause and make sure you're doing one thing to increase all four areas. I want to learn. I want to get better because someone is always trying to be better than me and I won't let them. Always be teachable. Practice until you can't get it wrong. Intention without action is an insult to the people counting on you. Win the day. So, I read that out loud, I, not just for the sake of the camera, but I do every morning. And mainly because faith comes through hearing. In order to hear something, you have to speak it. And um, I believe it's not like name it, claim it, but you're just reminding yourself uh, of, who, of who you are, the things that you want, what's important, your identity, and uh, and you speak to yourself more than anyone else will in a, ever, right, in a day. And so, um, yeah, you you know, you can listen to all the podcasts you want, but you're going to talk to yourself more than anyone. And so it's important to what you say to yourself. So, all right, so I do a sequence of things for a workout. It, it changes, but usually it's something to get the heart rate up, so it'll be a quick run, you know, 15, 20, 30 minute run in the morning. Then I'll do, um, or it'll be the Peloton ride. And then from there, I like actually doing a lot of band work. And it's it's kind of simplified, so it's not like you're lifting super heavy. Um, and you can do all kinds of stuff with this thing. So it's, uh, and, the way, and the reason why I like it is because it doesn't put, you know, it's like you're lifting 200 pounds, but you're, you're not putting that same kind of stress on your ligaments and your bones and stuff like that. So you can do bench, you can do deadlift, you can do front squats, you can do triceps, you can do overhead uh, pushes. Um, but I love doing stuff with this and there's different band resistance that I like to doing. And then um, we'll do some sort of kettlebell workout and then if, I, uh, if I'm feeling like it, I'll do some cleans and I really like doing cleans. So um, yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. So that wraps up my morning routine. Love uh, getting up early, beating the sun up, and uh, doing uh, doing all of that because it builds momentum into the day. And I've already won, so no matter what happens, it's already a win. Love it.